Hello everyone, welcome back to Geo360. Today in the emergency management first aid video series, I am going to create awareness regarding the first aid for electric burns and electrocution by electricity or lightning. First of all, electrocution means severe injury or death due to the passage of electric current through the body. Electric burns are caused when electricity passes through the body. The electric source may be a lightning or contact with the household current, a high voltage cables or transformers or low voltage high ampere electricity from a car, truck or a tractor battery. Do not touch the casualty till the power source is switched off. The electricity enters the body at the point of contact and goes through the body and exits at the point where the body touches the ground or at the earth point. Often, burn wounds may be observed at these entry and exit points. But inside the body, the electricity may cause damage on its track and that remains hidden. Exposure to electricity may also cause cardiac arrest. So what are the following things which you can see at the site of electric shock? Based on the situation, you may be able to detect there has been an electrocution accident and nearby you might see an electric appliance connected to the power source next to the casualty or a high voltage wire might be next to the casualty. There might also be thunderstorm which may lead to electric shock like symptoms. The casualty may be unconscious, have difficulty in breathing or have stopped breathing. The casualty may be in cardiac arrest or have an irregular pulse. There might be burn wounds and the casualty might suffer from muscle spasms. So what to do in case of an electric shock? The first aid for electric shock and burns are somewhat similar but there are some additional precautious measures for the first aid for electric shock when compared to the first aid for the burns. So I thought of putting a separate video for the first aid for electric shock. If you don't have any idea regarding the first aid for burns, watch our previous video regarding it. In case of an electric shock, never touch the casualty who is connected to the electric source. Primarily, turn off the source of electricity. In case of high voltage currents, never try to move the wire or source of electricity away from the victim. High voltage current can jump and kill up to 18 meters. Wait until the high voltage source has been turned off prior approaching to the victim. In case of an electrocution by home electricity and if you cannot switch off the electric source, you may try to move the source away from both you and the injured person using a dry non-conducting object made up of cardboard, plastic or wood. In case of strike of lightning, make sure you and the victim stay safe. If you are at risk from going into the lightning, wait until the danger has passed. If possible, stay inside a house or inside a car. Shout for help immediately and make suitable arrangement to move the casualty to the nearest healthcare facility available. Try not to move the casualty except if he is in immediate danger. Cool down the burn wounds using clean water. If there is no clean water available, use the water available around. Pour water on the burn for 10 to 15 minutes until the burn stops hurting. Do not use very cold water for cooling the burns because burn victims can easily become hypothermic. Protect the burn victim by wrapping him in a clean sheet of cloth or blankets. If possible, wash your hands and keep yourself hygienic before approaching the victim. Put on gloves or use a clean plastic bag before approaching the person's wounds. Cover the wounds with the help of a clean cotton cloth. Do not open the blisters and leave them impact. Remove any clothing or jewelry that is not stuck to the burned skin. Do not remove any parts of the jewellery or objects that are attached to the burn wounds. If possible, remove the person's belts, shoes and boots as they may swell the affected limb. Keep the casualty warm but do not overheat them. If possible, keep the burned hands and legs or feet in an elevated position. Do not leave the casualty alone and keep observing them. Transfer the casualty to the nearest healthcare facility as soon as possible. If the person is unconscious and still breathing, put him in recovery position and check his breathing. If the person stops breathing, start CPR immediately. If you don't know about CPR, watch a previous video regarding how to perform CPR which will be very useful. Thank you for watching the video, hope it was very much informative. If you have any queries, leave it in the comment box below, we will try to explain it. Like, share and subscribe our channel and stay tuned for further updates. Thank you.